Falca die. First things first, let us make sure we have the optimal settings for Vocodyne. Your sample rate should be either 44 kilohertz or 48 kilohertz, and your buffer size should be in between 64 to 512 samples. 128, I find, is the best. Of course, any other sound card settings you should have set up so you have your inputs accessible. Under VST3, Bless Beats, you should find Vocodyne, and you can pop it onto an audio track. This is the most basic but not the best setup, you can use it without MIDI. First off, choose the input track with your microphone on it. Make sure the track is armed and that monitoring is set to in or auto. Click keys to set up your scale, which will be auto-tuned. Yeah, nice. Now, just click the auto button and try it out. Vocodyne. That works for a lot of use cases, but if you want the full expression, you need to make use of a MIDI track. So let's make a new one and we're going to route the output of this into the Vocodyne track. Good job. Now hold control and arm this track too, so both of them are armed at the same time. Now we're going to turn off the auto mode, because you can have the controller on at the same time. Mess around with the character and the tone of this a little bit to get the sound that you want once you start recording. I think we're ready. I got my MIDI controller hooked up. I'm going to play and sing at the same time. Vocodyne. Yeah, baby. Vocodyne. Yeah, baby. Nice. 